When shopping for a new laptop, there's plenty to choose from. But with a flurry of options comes a lot of questions. Can I find one that's easy on the wallet? What's more important to me? Performance, battery life, or portability? And is one that looks and feels luxe also an option? What if I told you that you could have a laptop that ticks all of these boxes? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the gadgets I review, the places I go, the things that bring me joy, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So, if you're shopping for a new Windows laptop, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right one to match your needs. In this video, we'll take a closer look at Windows on Snapdragon X series, and I'll show you my favorite Snapdragon X series powered laptops. When it comes to chips that power Windows computers, there's a new player in the market, and it might be a name that you're familiar with, Snapdragon. The same brand of chips that power many of your favorite Android smartphones. And while it's felt that Windows has stagnated for a while with Snapdragon X series, I have a feeling we're on the cusp of something special. But before we dive in, let's set the stage. You all know about hardware and software. This, for example, is a laptop computer, and everything you see here on the outside is hardware. And at the heart, or should I say the brain of all this hardware, is the CPU. Software, in this case, is Windows 11. Now, for hardware and software to work together, they need a contract. Terms of engagement, if you will. That's called architecture. Traditional architecture was mighty but massive and required heavily on a power source. But in a world where everyone is on the go and unplugged, a new power-efficient architecture was needed. That's where Snapdragon X series comes in. It's a family of chips made for Windows using this powerful yet lightweight architecture. And it's literally changing the game by birthing a new generation of laptops unlike nothing you've seen before. And today, I partnered with Qualcomm to tell you all about them. Last year at an event at its headquarters in Redmond, Microsoft teased the future of Windows in partnership with Qualcomm. The new lineup of laptops were called Copilot Plus PCs, all running Snapdragon X series, and were dubbed the fastest, most intelligent Windows PCs ever built. Later in this video, I'll go over all my favorite models in case you're looking to pick one up. But first, let me tell you what I love about Snapdragon X series. You've probably heard me say this over and over again. Every time I shop for a new device, portability is of utmost concern to me. I want a laptop that is thin and light yet powerful. Snapdragon X series is the true all-in-one SOC or system on a chip, meaning CPU, GPU, NPU, and other controllers and modems are built into this one chip. This frees up space for other components like larger batteries, or it allows manufacturers to build slim and light machines, like the Asus ZenBook A14, which I took with me on a recent trip to Milan for design week. I'll tell you all about this laptop in the next chapter, but TLDR, at 2.16 pounds, it's the world's lightest Copilot Plus PC and one of the lightest Windows laptops ever made. I just love being able to slip it into a messenger bag when I'm out and about running errands and still want to get work done. It'll even fit on any size tray table, business class, or economy. If only it had 5G built in, which by the way, is an option on Snapdragon X series. In fact, that's available as an option when you order the Microsoft Surface Pro 11. Now, despite their svelte frame, Snapdragon X series laptops still pack a punch. They benchmark just as well as their counterparts from Intel and AMD. But where they really shine is in performance power while unplugged. Remember when I told you about the need for a more power efficient architecture? Well, fun fact, your favorite Snapdragon-powered smartphones like the Galaxy S25 Ultra share the same architecture as this new breed of laptops. And that's how Snapdragon X-Series gets its name. 
On phones, battery life is everything. So these chips are designed to run at high performance, even on low power. That's why mobile gaming is a thing. On the flip side, chips designed for x86 will usually throttle when unplugged to extend battery life. So whether you're editing a video on DaVinci Resolve, working on your latest Instagram post on Photoshop, or like me and putting together a new build on my Minecraft realm, you get sustained performance while still enjoying long battery life. All of these apps, by the way, run native to this new architecture. Which brings me to my favorite thing about Snapdragon X-Series laptops, multi-day battery life. Not having to pack a charger on a weekend trip is a good thing. Like when I attended Milan Design Week for a few days, I knew I would be mostly at social events during the day, shopping and working out. So I mainly needed my laptop for checking emails and writing on the plane and basically keeping tabs on the Gadget Match team. So for this three day trip, all I needed was a single charge. Thanks to the battery efficiencies of Snapdragon X series. One easy test that you can do is to see how much your battery drains overnight. In my case, before I went to bed, my Surface Pro 11 was at 72%. And when I woke up the next morning, it dropped by only 1%. That's a far cry from competitor notebooks that are notorious for standby battery drain. Of course, I would be doing all of these Copilot Plus PCs a disservice if I didn't talk about what they were designed for. AI, not just on the cloud, but also on device. While we're still in the early days, some Copilot Plus features I really enjoy include live translations, which can translate audio and video in real time. My favorite use case is if I have to watch a YouTube video, but it's only available in a foreign language. But it's also helpful for video meetings with colleagues from across the globe. Voy a volar este jueves y llego allá recién el sábado, porque hay 36 horas de vuelo desde Argentina. Así que me va a tomar un, un par de días llegar. Speaking of video calls, did you know that AI is also behind a feature called Windows Studio Effects? Being able to nicely cut you out from a background, improve your lighting, or add a fun background is all done with the help of Snapdragon X series built-in NPU. So is being able to cancel out background noises. Okay, so here's a sample recording using the built-in camera and microphones on the ASUS ZenBook A14, and I have the AI noise canceling microphones turned off. As you can hear right now, Chai has turned on her hair dryer as she's blow drying her hair. You can probably hear that in the background right now but i'm going to go and switch uh, and turn that on and now i've turned on multi-presenter mode ai noise cancelling microphones are on you shouldn't be able to hear her but she is still blow drying her hair but let me know if you hear the difference down below if you're working on a deck for work and need to spice it up with an image you can just add a prompt on image creator and just like that, you get a spiffy image to add to your presentation. Recently, a new feature called Voice Access just rolled out. With it, you can use natural language to control your computer. Scroll down. Scroll down. And finally, after being, well, recalled, since it was first teased last year, the feature called Recall is now rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs. It's a pretty cool feature that keeps a recording of what you do on your computer. And I know all of that can sound scary, but don't worry, all of this data is not transmitted to the cloud. All of it remains on your device. Then when say you want to remember, what was that perfume that I was reading about the other day? Or who was it that tweeted a photo of a burger? Recall will help you find the answers. And now the part I'm sure you're most excited about, let's take a look at some hardware. Snapdragon X series come in three flavors. There's Snapdragon X, X Plus, and X Elite. You get more performance power the higher you go up the ladder. Snapdragon X laptops start in the $600 range. Snapdragon X Plus starts between $700 to $800, while Snapdragon X Elite usually starts at above $1,000. To make it easier, I've rounded up four top picks for you to consider. Thin and light and plenty of ports don't really go together, which is why if connectivity options are important to you, I recommend the ASUS ZenBook A14, a computer designed from the ground up 
with Snapdragon X series in mind. It's got a full suite of ports, including a full-sized HDMI, two USB-C, one USB-A, and a headphone jack. The ZenBook A14 is so thin and light thanks to a special formulation of Asus Ceraluminum which combines alloys of magnesium and aluminum for a smooth finish and ultra-light, ultra-tough build. On top of all of the optimizations of Windows on Snapdragon X, the ZenBook A14 packs a massive 70-watt-hour battery, which should get you about 20 hours of video playback, which is just divine on this 14-inch OLED display. What more could you want? In a laptop. This is the Dell XPS 13, which starts at about $1099 for a non-touchscreen model powered by Snapdragon X+. Plus. The one I have is a top-of-the-line config with a 3K OLED display and Snapdragon X Elite. I've long been a fan of Dell's XPS line. They've always been known for making sleek and sexy Windows laptops. And it's great to see that they now offer models powered by Snapdragon X series. I just love the way this computer looks, particularly the way the trackpad disappears into the rest of the palm rest, almost like it's not even there. As always, it's got super slim bezels and the Lux CNC machined aluminum chassis. This laptop is the utmost in portability and style. Another Asus laptop on my list is the VivoBook 16. For those looking for a large screen or maybe a budget pick, the Snapdragon X model starts at just under 750 bucks. It also comes with a full suite of ports with one additional USB-A more than the ZenBook A14. Its built-in backlit keyboard has a dedicated numpad and of course, its headline feature is its large and in charge, glare-free 16-inch display that can be opened a full 180 degrees. Asus promises 18 hours of battery life. It comes in one color, quiet blue, which is mostly black except in some lighting where the blue shines through. Finally, if you're in the mood for a two-in-one, definitely check out the Microsoft Surface Pro 11, available for as low as $799.99 for the Snapdragon X Plus model. But of course, for the full experience, you'll want to drop another $500 for the Flex keyboard with slim pen, which makes it so much more useful. The keyboard is lined with Alcantara, a material also used on luxury vehicles. I love how it can go from notebook computer to tablet with pen. When detached, the keyboard works wirelessly, so you can even prop the display up on some books or use this third-party stand so you can have your display at eye level. And then there's the pen, which lets you sketch or take notes. All things I enjoy being able to do. Finally, if you order the Silver Surface Pro, you also get an option for a model with 5G connectivity built in. And then you can just get an add-on to your phone plan for connectivity on the go. Before we wrap up, it's worth pointing out that because Snapdragon X has a custom architecture, not x86, some apps are not optimized yet. That's not to say they won't work. In fact, many non-native apps work really well with Prism emulation. That said, many apps already have optimized versions. Microsoft 365, Microsoft Teams, Adobe Photoshop, Google Chrome, Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Telegram, WhatsApp, to name a few. And as the platform continues to grow, this will only get better. And that was our look at Windows on Snapdragon X series. It's shaping out to be a very interesting time for Windows users. And as we forge ahead into an era of AI, I can't wait to see what's next. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun, travel, and fashion. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.